Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Stata course on regression analysis and estimation methods. Today, let me show you how to use Stata's eRegress command to solve the endogeneity problem caused by omitted variables and sample selection. Omitted variable bias and endogenous sample selection are common issues in causal effect analysis. Status extended linear regression command eRegress gives us a solution to both problems. Endogeneity is a term used to describe the presence of an endogenous explanatory variable. Endogenous explanatory variable is an explanatory variable in a multiple regression model that is correlated with the error term, either because of an omitted variable, sample selection, reverse causality, simultaneity, or measurement error. Please check out this video for more information and examples for each case. In several past topics, we have also explored omitted variable bias and endogenous sample selection in detail and discussed how to correct them using stata commands. Today, we will learn a stata command eRegress that can combine the techniques we have learned to solve the endogeneity problem. Let's use a dataset bob2.dta for the US female workers I created from the Panel Study of Income Dynamics PSID surveys. Please download the dataset from the link below. Suppose we are interested in the causal effect of education on women's wages that is, the return to education for female workers. We want to obtain a consistent estimate of the coefficient on the education variable in the wage equation. An OLS model regresses the log hourly wage on education, age, region, and race. We use the I dot prefix for categorical variables which is equivalent to using a series of dummy variables from the categorical variable with the first category as the base group. The C dot prefix is for continuous variables. When using double hash tags, we should use the C dot before the continuous variables. Otherwise, Stata will treat it as categorical variables. The double hash tags include the level and interaction terms between the two variables in the model. The OLS estimate suggests that one more year of schooling increases wages by about 14%. We suspect that the workers' educational attainment is endogenous because the unobserved factors like the workers' ability and personality are omitted from the model. They are determinants of earnings and correlate with education, which leads to omitted variable bias. Please check out my previous videos for details on the omitted variable bias and the two-stage least squares method with instrumental variables. We use their parents' educational level as an instrumental variable for the worker's educational attainment. We type e-regress, log wage, and a list of exogenous explanatory variables, age, region, and race. We use the endogenous option and write the first stage equation inside the parenthesis. In the first stage regression, we regress the endogenous variable education on all the exogenous 
variables from the second stage regression, and an additional instrumental variable, parent education. The endogenous explanatory variable education only appears inside the parentheses. Stater assumes that it is the endogenous explanatory variable in the structural equation. The two-stage least squares estimation gives a higher estimate of the return to education than OLS. One more year of schooling increases wages by about 19 percent after holding other variables in the model constant and alleviating the omitted variable bias. The instrumental variable parents' education is a categorical variable in our example. Using the I dot prefix is equivalent to using three dummy variables in the first stage regression. They are jointly statistically significant. Our previous topic shows that the women's wage equation is very likely to be subject to sample selection bias. We should consider Heckman's method to correct it. We can use the E regress command with the select option. We write down the selection equation inside the parentheses after the select option. The labor force participation choice is a function of the number of children and other explanatory variables in the wage equation. After sample selection corrections, one more year of education increases female workers' wages by 11%, which is lower than the OLS estimate. Finally, we can combine the two-stage least squares method and sample selection corrections using both endogenous and select options. The estimate is 0.15, meaning that one more year of schooling increases wages by 15% after holding other factors constant and controlling for omitted variable bias and sample selection bias. The estimate is close to the OLS estimate because the OLS estimate is downward biased due to omitted variables and upward biased due to sample selection. The two biases are in opposite directions. Looking at the results closely, we find that from the 2,552 observations, 1,966 observations are selected for the wage equation. In the selection regression, the number of children is an additional variable one more kid reduces the probability of working by 13 percentage points. In the first stage regression for the endogenous variable education, the instrumental dummy variables, parents' education levels, are jointly significant. The instrument relevant requirement is satisfied. The correlation between the error terms in the wage equation and the selection equation is significant, which is evidence of the presence of endogenous sample selection. The correlation between the first stage and second stage regressions is also significant, which is evidence of omitted variable bias. The E regress command solves the problems together. I have two thoughts on this example. First, the omitted variable bias and the endogenous sample selection bias may go in opposite directions. As a result, after performing the two-stage least squares method and the Heckman's two-step procedure, the estimate may be close to the OLS estimate without any corrections. That is because the corrections cancel out each other. Second, we use two methods to alleviate the endogeneity challenges. 
However, it may not be necessary to use both methods. If the sample selection is based on the instrumental variables we use in the two-stage d squares, then sample selection is no longer endogenous. That is because we use the variation in the instrumental variable as an exogenous explanatory variable in the regression. But this is not the case in our example. The women were not self-selected into the labor force based on their parents' education. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next topic. Take care. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.